whether you want health, wealth, love, freedom, abundance, or anything else in your life, it's not about creating those things. It's about generating them and then ultimately becoming them. Generation is the key that unlocks the doors of creation and the one aspect of which is most often overlooked in the process of bringing new things, people, ideas, opportunities, events, and so on into your reality. The best part is it's not some guarded occult knowledge held by a select few. It's nothing more than a formula. And for whatever it is you're trying to bring into your life, it's the same formula. Creation then is about the generation of a frequency or your personal energy. If you're generating a frequency, you're synchronizing your energy to the frequency of some possibility that already exists in the quantum field. Once you generate a new frequency that carries an intent or information from your internal state of being, then you're connected to a new future. Let's take abundance as an example. For the most part, abundance is tied to a particular frequency of worthiness and their freedom, which can carry the message or intent of your individual desire for wealth. It may be inspired by a lot of money in your bank account, traveling regularly to exotic places, having more than you need, or the freedom to do whatever you want with whomever you want, with whomever you want as many times as you want. To create your life as you want with your own specific intentions is a function of your free will. However, your ability to move to a greater level of awareness of that new personal reality and to create the energy of abundance on a moment to moment basis is a great test for anyone. If you finish your meditation and you are feeling your abundance and wealth, but when you open your eyes, you are deceived by your senses because you can't see your abundance manifested yet, then you are back to living in lack and separation, believing it has not yet happened. If you are back to feeling lack and separation from your future reality, then you just disconnected from the energy of your future and you're back in the same familiar energy of your past. That means you're back to the same person, creating the same frequency of your past and the same vibrational match that's unknown to everything in your life. In fact, you are thinking and feeling in the same ways. Therefore, your energy is the same as it was the day before. Those who determine their reality based on their senses are waiting for relief from their lack in order to feel abundant. Their belief is that when the wealth finally arrives, then they will be abundant. In doing so, they are unconsciously living by the old cause and effect model of reality. If you are living by this antiquated model because you're in a state of lack and separation, you keep checking with your senses to see if your abundance has arrived. Since you can't see it, you question whether you are doing it right or why it hasn't happened yet. This type of analysis only serves to create further separation because you are analyzing your life within the same familiar energy, frequency, or emotion. We could say that you are thinking in the past, and thus everything in your life stays the same just like a musician might practice their scales every day so that playing their instrument can be done automatically and without thinking. You have to work on a daily basis to create and sustain that state of abundance so it becomes your state of being. You must keep revisiting the state of being over and over every day in your meditations and then maintain this modified state of being for your entire day independent of the conditions in your life, independent of the conditions in your life, independent of the emotions and habits of the body, and for an extended period of time. That's your initiation into abundance. Then one day when you have become abundance without ever wavering from that state of being, you will wake up and that which lived in your mind and heart as an idea of abundance will materialize in form and matter. And it will arrive in a way you could never have predicted if you're already in a state of worthiness, abundance, gratitude, freedom, empowerment, and so on. And if you're able to sustain that state, then you already feel like it has happened because it's your feeling that connects you to that future. And your body is believing it has happened. But the moment you start doubting, wondering, 
analyzing, forcing, or controlling, it means you're back to the old person who lives in lack. Another challenge for some people is that they might want abundance, but they don't want to work for it. They have no idea that people who are abundant paid their dues in so many ways through losses, betrayals, and failures. What these people hold in common is that they recognize all of those events that seemed like setbacks were just part of their journey to their wealth. Each trail was another opportunity to become abundant again the next day. It makes sense that if you want to be abundant, then you should educate yourself about wealthy people who became it. Mm. In doing so, you realize money didn't just fall from the heavens for these people. Their path was not linear. Rather, it was a series of experiences that led them to their abundance. So whether you're dealing with health, wealth, or anything else, you have to be able to sustain the state of being that directly correlates with each of those desires. Once you're able to sustain that state of being, you need to be aware that it's going to be an unknown journey to your wealth, meaning not in any way you can predict. And it might be uncomfortable for a while, which just means you're going to have to self-regulate your internal state daily. When you stop looking for that thing you're trying to create because you feel like you already have it on a moment to moment basis, you've become it. And that means you're so in the present moment, you're no longer waiting for it. If you're waiting, then you're not creating. And if you're not creating, then don't expect anything new. It's all about getting into that elegant state where you feel like you already have what you seek because once you feel like you already have it, why would you look for it? It's important to remember that your journey to abundance is not about your wealth. It's about who you become in the process. A wealthy person doesn't say, I'm wealthy, 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 I'm abundant, I'm abundant, I'm abundant, I'm abundant. They just know and feel like they are. For this type of individual, there's an alignment between what's going on inside of them and the world they've created outside of them. The bottom line is, if you start changing your inner state for long enough, you're going to see that change and outgrowth reflected in your outer environment. When that event occurs, because you have become abundant inside of you, you're going to say the same thing everyone else says. It was so worth it. Or better yet, I'm so worth it. 